Hey, hey guys. guys! Yes, we moved. We moved to a new home. <laughs> this is our neighborhood where we right now just walking and enjoying this beautiful neighborhood. We arrived a couple days ago and how was your first expression? I really love this neighborhood. It's really quiet and... Um... It's really quiet, but we have one dog on our street that's always barking, but that's not the problem. <laughs> yeah, overall it's a really nice and beautiful community and I'm really excited to show you guys the house that we moved in. That's not a big house, it's just 2,400 square feet. Mm -hmm. But this is bigger. Yeah, then bigger that we had in okay. California. Actually, guys, this is other state we're right now in Washington. <sighs> look, look what we have here. Do you know what it is? It's a pear. Yesterday we were on a farm and we bought so many peaches, tomatoes, uh, apples, apples. Plums. Yeah, I hope we will post this video. We didn't tell our friends a lot about our moving. I want to show you something. What we have on our front yard. Guys, look how gorgeous. It's just beautiful. Do you like roses as much as I do? They're just so beautiful. Yeah, we have so many roses. I'll show you. Actually, this is our house. Look how many flowers. They smell so good. Oh. Can you smell it? Yes, that's great. Let's get inside. Look how beautiful. This is our porch and the small zone that we can enjoy. Who come to visit us? Do you like it? I love it. It's so peaceful. So this house is furnished. Let's go inside. Let's get in. Guys, this is home pretty old. Do you hear? Do you hear? That's we're walking on our floor. <laughs> this is sound that comes out of the floor because yeah. it's wooden. And when you're upstairs, you can hear someone walking here. Fireplace here. I love this much wall. Let's show the kitchen and everything. Okay, come in. You know, they have a lot of paintings on the walls. So I really love it. Yeah, it's that's beautiful. beautiful. Look, one more here. We love art. Look how beautiful the roses. That's our present for our mother. She came with that yesterday and she has a birthday. So we uh, surprised her with flowers. Yeah, that's so great. Carolina, so happy, and Leo and Nicholas that uh, grandma and grandpa came because they live so far away. They live in Missouri. But right now, they went to the park and we have time to record this video. Yes, let's so let's come inside the kitchen. Did you see the chandelier? It's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So this is our kitchen. I'm gonna show you what we cooked here. So these are eggplants and I bake them and then I mix some garlic and veggies. It's veggie mayo. So, and we put some, our freshly picked tomatoes from the farm on top of that. So this is delicious. If you like garlic and eggplants, Please and tomatoes, it. yeah. Can't wait to try this. Guys, this is what Carolina and Leo cooked. Wow. This is so delicious. It's called Galleta. And this one with plums and this one with peaches. I think you need to open the cooking channel. Because you cook <laughs> I, so good. Yeah, I'm not the one who cooked it, though. Leo I mean, and Carolina. Yeah. But it's so delicious. Yeah, but my beautiful wife, she cooks a lot. And yes. I love how he cooks. Right. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple more. This one I cooked. This is mushrooms, portobello mushrooms. And they filled with onions, spinach, tofu, 
and show how big this yeah this is these are like really big this is one one mushroom, mushroom. Actually. yes e every one is mushroom yes they're so big i'm gonna show you a couple more what my mom cooked come here guys you know what this is this is so delicious it's called galupci so these are cabbage and then some rice so you take leaf of cabbage and you put some rice in it with carrots and onions and then you roll it so these are small rolls of rice mm. covered with uh, cabbage leaves this is so delicious it smells so good it is honey I, I think we have meal for next few weeks guys this is so good <laughs> you know what this is this is green beans and we bought this. <gasps> this is from the farm. We picked them up from the ground. I mean, from the plants. So it was so much fun yes, to pick them up. Yes. And this is my mom cooked it. And then uh, she added some garlic and some onions to it and some spices. This is so good. And one last but not least thing that we cook every week, guys. This is... I think uh, this video we need to call what we cook, what we eat. <laughs> yes, guys, this is borscht. Show them, show them, show them the inside. This is borscht. This is so delicious. If you will ever visit some Russian or Ukrainian restaurant, please order borscht. It's so good and it's so healthy. It has lots of vegetables and beans. Let's continue to our house tour. Here. This is like a lounge zone. And look how many tomatoes we have. We picked them up yesterday. Guys, it smells so good. So this is another table we don't eat here. We eat at that other table. Let's go upstairs and after that we'll show you outside our backyard. Okay, let's go. This is the bathroom. The only one bathroom downstairs. <laughs> And we have one more room. This is the fourth bedroom. Yeah, and uh, our mother and father, they live here. While they are visiting. Yes. yes. Okay, let's go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> more art on the yeah. wall. More art and we have uh, three bedrooms upstairs. Okay, let's check them out. This is Carolina's bedroom. Look how cute is this room. It's really cute. She loves this rabbit especially uh, with a flower. It's super cute. And she has this wardrobe here. Do you hear? Yeah. Here? Yeah, it's pretty old house. More art on the wall. And Carolina has her own bathroom which none has, I mean, none of the rooms has their own bathroom. So this is the shower. This is the mirror. Let's go to our room. Let's go check it out. The master bedroom. Ta-da! This is the master bedroom. Yeah. It's bigger than we had before. We have AC, pretty old, but it works perfectly. One more mirror. One more mirror. I love this bed. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's queen. Oh, not actually queen. We had the queen. It's, it's. Um, what is next after queen? It's king size. King size. And I love this bed too. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more bedroom. So this is our third. Our fourth bedroom. Yeah, and uh, it's a guest bedroom. It's really, really high bed. Yeah. I'm gonna climb to get here. Oh, this is so high. Yeah, it's beautiful. This room has the, own style. Yes, and it has the most paintings. I think one, two, three, and yes. then four. Beautiful. And of course, mirror. So as you notice, guys, this house is furnished with a really, I would say like old French style furniture. Do you agree? Yes. 
So all these mirrors and arches, wooden beds and lots of pillows. So we really like it. But... But before we'll tell you but, about but, <laughs> we'll show you backyard. Yes. You know, guys, uh, I think this room... Nick, wait. I think this room suits you well because your eyes are so blue in this room. Oh. They're yeah. so pretty. I love them. Thank you, I love you, and I love our master bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go outside. Let's go. So I like to compliment my husband with his beautiful eyes, because I know he gets a lot of compliments about his eyes from strangers. Uh, like when he's shopping, he will, someone would come up and say, yes, your eyes are so yes. blue. But your compliments are special, and I love them the most. I know, baby. Let's go outside. Guys, we have this also. Is, this is the basement. Basement? Yes, this is the basement. Guys, you you're not gonna believe it, but we have. Ta da! We have jacuzzi, and get here every night, Ooh. and it's so good. Leo laughs so much with Carolina, especially when it's bubbles. Yes. It's amazing. So we put this cover on top of the jacuzzi for safety reasons. I'm gonna block it. We have three kids and two are so small. Leo, three years old, and uh, Nicholas, eight months old. Actually, he's... He's turned nine he's today! He's nine today. We need to, to celebrate with him. Yes. He's nine months old. And we need to be safe. We need to be safe and this is, this is prevent from bad accident. From bad accident. We have grill, but we didn't use yet. We have special zone that we can relax. This is a small backyard. One more table. It's a small backyard, but... But it's good. You it's know, good. and we, what we noticed, they have lots of these little flies flying. Can you see them? Who are they? So they have lots of them. I have an assumption. I think this is small bees the small bees yeah we have lights and at night it's so beautiful so romantic, romantic. guys this is garage this is a small garage it's outside driveway <sighs> yeah this is old house with a small garage with a plenty of zones and we love this house <sighs> all right guys let's talk about but, but. We always think that maybe we should move to another state because California is pretty expensive, especially in the area where we live. We live about one hour from LA and it's very expensive area, especially for buying a house. We were renting our house for two years. Almost two years. And in Ukraine, we were building our home, our house. We started and we made basement, we made walls, roof, it's 90% finished. And we started from scratch. There was nothing, nothing there, just plain land. And we built it up all the way, like the full house. How old were we? I was pregnant with Carolina, so we were 22. Maybe. I remember when you were pregnant with a big belly <sighs> and Ella, she was holding some wood and I was using hammer. And I told him, don't hit my fingers. I have a baby in my belly. I'm going to scream so loud. <laughs> that was yeah. a very hard but interesting time. And when we moved to California... We think that maybe we should build a house <clears throat> and not a buy one. Yeah. And we talked with the builders and they told us to build the house is more expensive than actually buy the house. That takes the time and more money. But we have the dream, maybe one day we will build a house in the US. Guys, we're gonna switch to another couch because I feel like this one, the window behind us gives a little foggy uh, picture here. Let's move to another couch. All right, guys. Can you see us better now? Yes, I see me much better. <laughs> All right, guys, when we were researching the prices for building houses... And we thought maybe we should buy land. 
yeah and build a house but guys find the land is more complicated than the find the right house yes because it's not so many choices Yes. Plus, would be some problems with the ground. You have to make lots of investigations to mm -hmm. see if this is a a good land to build a house on. If an earthquake comes, what's gonna happen? Is, is it safe enough? So lots and lots of things. Plus, we live in area where a lot of mountains mm -hmm. and to find the flat piece of land. It's so complicated. It's very difficult. Yeah, for for the great price. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive. Yes, and we thought about maybe we need to move another state because California is pretty expensive, especially our area, and we love other states too. Every state that we've been is very beautiful. Very beautiful in yeah. some ways. We've been living in Portland, Oregon, and it's everything green, a lot of lakes. We've been visiting florida it's beautiful but it's too hot for me yeah it's too hot but uh, florida has beautiful ocean yes and especially it's warm. warm warm ocean we have the ocean it's close from our home it's 45 minutes to malibu but it's super cold to be in the ocean yeah it's super cold we never swim. even in the summer time yes. we never swim we just walking and looking and enjoying the ocean. Yes. But in Florida, it's super warm. Our kids swim sometimes, but yes. we're, we're not. That's why most of the California people have pools. Yes, right. And we love Missouri because our parents live in Missouri. We've been in Washington, Washington, Idaho, Idaho. Uh, where else? Nevada, Nevada, Arizona. New Mexico. Carolina was performing. There. Yeah. Yes. We never been on the east side and this is our dream to come to New York, yeah, Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we think about maybe we should move to Washington and right now we in Washington. And to get a better understanding how would it feel to live in Washington, we decided to rent a house and get a feel what it's like to live here. So we are going to regular grocery stores. We're going to regular parks. We're not doing something extraordinary here. We just pretending what it feels like to live here. Yeah, but uh, guys, when we have the question, should we move or no? We always make a list because feeling sometimes could be wrong. Mm -hmm. That could be wrong because uh, right now it's great, yes. it's beautiful, but it's not just weather, it's not just uh, neighborhood or the price mm -hmm. because we need to see the future. Mm -hmm. And for us, the most important thing is to make our kids happy and make their future better because right now in California, especially near to LA, Carolina has so many opportunities. She has the great teachers. She has a lot of friends, great school. We found a great piano teacher for Leo. Yeah, and it's very important. We always take the piece of paper and we write, we write plus and minus. Yeah, what are the pros and cons of moving somewhere? Yeah. Because when we moved to LA in one year, Ella had a feeling, should we move to Missouri? Because mm -hmm. our parents have been living in Missouri for, for a couple of years. They were inviting us all the time. Come on, yeah. guys, move here. So at some point I felt like, okay, um, I feel like we should move. Our kids, we had Carolina and Leo at the time. Nicholas wasn't born yet. What? Move, move a little bit <laughs> because you have so much space, space and I'm, I'm here without I'm my without my hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's great. Um, so yes, I thought that it would be so great to live next to our parents' house and to and it's pretty cheap. Yeah, really. it's very cheap yeah. to live in Missouri, and we could um, 
just move there by house, live next to them and see each other every day. And you know, the kids would have their grandparents in their lives because right now they don't see Nick's parents at all because they live in Ukraine. So they only FaceTime with them, but they can't see them physically present mm -hmm. in their lives. So, and with my parents, they come to visit and we go visit them, but it's just three, four times a year. Plus your sister also moved in uh, Missouri from Ukraine. I see most of the people, they live close to, to the family. To the family. And, yeah. and that's important to be with a family. Mm -hmm. But in our case, we understand that we have the great future for our kids. And we moved to LA from Portland, from Oregon. We've been living in Portland, not just for better weather. We moved for opportunities. And when we got down all the pros and cons on the paper, it was, it was so easy to make a decision because I was just blinded with the idea we should move. And then when we wrote it down, I, I saw that there is that many things that we're going to lose if we were to move. So we stayed. And right now we stay in California. And so we are doing these things with uh, writing uh, on a piece of paper with everything when we get the feeling of moving. So for the Washington, we, we love it here and we having a great time here. And we have a lot of friends here. And we have a lot of friends here, yes. And actually my parents love it here. So they're like, maybe we should move here. But uh, at this point, we're not moving anywhere. We're just, you know, like gathering the information and getting the feeling and storing it in our, in our heads. We'll see what future holds for us. But for now, we're still living in California and we think of this as our really great vacation in Washington. Yes, we wanted to, to see our parents. Mom, she has the birthday. So our mom has birthday and our dad is going to have birthday in a couple of days. Yeah, so and... it's like win-win. Yes, and we decided to spend the time together in other state. And... We wanted for them to feel a different experience. Yes, and you know, guys, I noticed that when you change the place or you, even for for short time, you get so many ideas. Great ideas came to me when I been in different place. Sometimes you don't need to travel a lot. You just need to leave your house, your home, go to the park or go to the mountains. Or go to the ocean. Change something. Because when you live in one place, your brain always think the same. Yes, it, it cannot think extraordinary because nothing changes. Nothing. You yes. have this couch, you yes. have this chair, you have this window, everything is the same. The you same. have breakfast, lunch and dinner at the same time, every same day. Place. Yes. And your brain starts to think the same. Yes. The same. And when you change something, you can get the beautiful ideas mm -hmm. for your life. You're, of course, you need to make them real mm -hmm. and you have to put some efforts for this, but you can do it, guys. Thank you for being with us. We love you so much, guys. And we truly, truly appreciate your support, guys, that you're showing to us. It is beyond. It's just beyond. Thank you so, so much. Right now, it's a time to come and see our kids because we spent two hours to record this video. Actually, it, it's going to be more shorter than two yeah. hours. Maybe around 20 minutes. I'm yeah. not sure. Guys, but, thank you for your support. Yes, thank you so much for watching. We love you. We appreciate you. And we hope that you will have a really great day. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to your dreams. And get outside and get new ideas. We love Bye. you guys. Bye. Bye.